Nadia Dunn. You're watching Crypto Market News. Despite the persistent crypto winter, Bitcoin could rise by over 80% throughout 2019, according to experts polled by Finder.com.au. Of the six fintech experts who offered their predictions, Ben Ritchie, chief operating officer of digital capital management, was the most bullish, tipping a year-end price of 9,500 US dollars. The average price prediction was just under 7,000 US dollars. According to analysts, the catalysts that may excite the crypto market to rise are Bact and Fidelity. Bact, a cryptocurrency trading platform for investors at the professional and institutional level, is expected to launch a BDC futures market in the United States in the first quarter of 2019. Also, within the same period, Fidelity is expected to start offering cryptocurrency custody services. We are about to talk on this issue to Tone Vase, trader, consultant and Bitcoin enthusiast who has worked on Wall Street for almost 10 years. Hi Tone. Hi Maria. Bitcoin has officially entered the longest bear market in its history, so what do you think? Has BTC already reached the bottom? Uh, I, I do not believe we reached bottom. I do think that the price of Bitcoin and every single altcoin will go lower. Uh, do I think it's going to go lower than 1000? Probably not. My lowest possible target has always been approximately $1,300. I don't expect us to go lower than that. I'm hoping that we find a bottom somewhere in the low $2,000 range, but I personally won't panic as long as Bitcoin stays above $1,000. When can it happen? Probably closer to the end of the year. I just think that there are still way too many people that believe in these useless altcoins. And every time I see the price of Bitcoin going up, uh, but the price of altcoins going up bit more and faster, it tells me that people have not learned their lesson and that the prices need to drop significantly more. We see that you're still pretty skeptical on altcoins. But is there at least one altcoin you believe in? No, there isn't a single altcoin that I believe in. Is it possible that one or two old coins are going to be economically viable and useful to the world in five years? I mean, I mm -hmm. guess it's possible, but I have no idea which one it's going to be. The only time I ever even hold an old coin is because someone happens to like, give it to me or try to pay me in it, and then I try to get rid of it as fast as I can. I treat old coins like the Venezuelan currency. Uh, the moment you get it, you, it you, it's like a hot potato. Just get rid of it as soon as possible and convert it to something valuable. Even if some of them are successful, you will not recommend anybody to use them, right? Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, no one really is really using them. They don't really have a purpose. Uh, to me, every old coin is just like a person printing their own money, trying to convince others to use their money. What is your stance on stable coins? Uh, to me, stable coins, they're, they're not innovative at all. Uh, there's no innovation. It's uh, stable coins is the current coins. The US dollar is a stable coin. Again, the okay. Russian ruble is a stable coin. And 80 or 90% of all of the money, all of the US dollars, like 95% of US dollars are digital. They're not mm -hmm. in physical paper form. And that's exactly what a stable coin is. A sta it's just being transferred on a different database. I mean, it's just numbers. Coming back to Bitcoin, is the current decline far different from the decline in 2014 and 2015? Mm -hmm. I think the fall is very, very similar. I think the environments are also pretty similar. I if anything, I think the current environment is even more dangerous and more bearish than it was back in 2014 and 2015. Uh, of course, Bitcoin is a lot more stable. Bitcoin is a lot stronger. Uh, from the code perspective, it's a lot more secure. All of that is great. But the problem, my biggest problem in 2018 compared to 2014, in 2014, the community was very united. The community was like 90, 95% Bitcoiners and everyone was on the same page. Everyone was cooperating. Everyone was trying to explain to people what Bitcoin is and why you should use it. And merchants were starting to accept Bitcoin. And now in 2018, uh, very few people believe in Bitcoin and everyone just wants to sell you their scam. 
And what do you think Bitcoin ETF will bring? And I think it's nice that people will be able to trade Bitcoin legally around the world in a stable and secure way. But a large amount of Bitcoin sitting, you know, in some cold storage creates a major risk factor. It's a large pool of Bitcoin that is at risk of being hacked. It's at risk of being lost and it's at risk of government confiscation. Okay, Tone, thank you for your time. You've been watching Crypto Market News and we have just talked to Tone Vase, trader, consultant and Bitcoin enthusiast. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell not to miss the most important news and trends of crypto. I'm Sophia Dunn, goodbye.